Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing? That's great to hear. Let's get started with our good morning song. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and we'll fly to this side, we'll fly to that side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Raise the circle up over your head and let's stretch to one side, stretch over to the other side, one more stretch up at the top, and let's bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends and welcome to circle time. Before we get started, there are three things that we need to do. Number one, turn on your listening ears. Number two, find your thinking hats. My thinking hat is right here in front of me. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin. So I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. Yesterday we learned all about our hearts and our circulatory system. So now let's get started. Behind me, I have my calendar and weather chart. And the first thing that we're going to do is go over the date. We'll start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July. That's right. Today is July 6th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 5th and today is July 6th. And right up here we have the year. There are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that it's 2021 or you can say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Friends, will you take out your counting fingers like this? And let's warm them up to give them a little stretch. Let's use our counting fingers and count how many days we've had so far in the month of July. Will you count with me? We'll start off at the top with the number one, two, three, four, five, six. We have had six days so far in the month of July. Keep your six fingers up and let's add one more finger to make seven. Now we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. Will you sing with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, it's time to go over the days of the week together. Let's see. Listen carefully for the sound that the day makes, and you can tell me if you know what day it is. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is T. Tuesday, and tomorrow will be W. Wednesday, but let's sing Today is Tuesday together. Will you sing with me? Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. And right up at the top, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Summer! That's right, it's summertime where I live. What do you like to do in the summertime? In the summertime, I like to spend a lot of time outside with my friends and family. And now let's go down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? 
Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So my picture right down here is a picture of the sun and a cloud because it's another mostly sunny day where I live. And look at my temperature chart, friends. It moved from the middle of orange and red all the way over to the color red because today is going to be very, very hot where I live. Very hot and mostly sunny. What do you like to do when it's very hot outside? How do you cool off in the summertime? I like to go swimming when it's very hot out. And what kind of weather do you have outside your window today? Take a peek outside and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. Now let's move on to the letter and the number and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we learned this uppercase or capital letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's make that sound together. S, s. And which letter is this? S, you're right. This is a capital or uppercase S. S says s, s. Let me grab my letter box and I will give you your first clue for the day. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter s, s. This is a small type of an animal called a mollusk. This animal has a shell, and when it gets scared or frightened, it can go inside of its shell. Do you know what it is? Let's take a peek. This is a snail. So this is actually the shell from a snail. This is very small, so it may be a little bit difficult to see. It's kind of a pinkish purplish color and it has a little opening right underneath. That's where the body of the snail goes in. A snail is a mollusk, which is a type of an animal. And snail starts with the letter S. S. Right now in my garden, we actually have a lot of snails that are eating all of my strawberries. This is how you write an uppercase S. S. One more time. And here is the number of the week. Do you remember which number this is? Six. That's right, friends. This is the number six. Will you hold up six fingers for me? You're going to hold up one hand and then one more finger to make six like this. One hand has five fingers and one more makes six. Now let's count the number six together using the large bead frame. This week we are going to count to the number six using the large bead frame. We are going to be counting the units which are the green beads at the top. Let's count the number six together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. And I wonder what I'll find inside of the box to count today. Ooh, something smells very nice. I have these lavender flowers. Lavender is one of my favorite flowers that grow in the summertime because they smell so relaxing and calming. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six lavender flowers. Now, after circle time, what I plan to do with these lavender 
is to make a little knot at the bottom with a piece of string and then hang them upside down to dry. And the purple flowers will dry out, but even in the winter time, I'll be able to smell them and it will make me feel calm and relaxing. So we've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. Now let's move on to the sign of the week. Yesterday, I showed you how to say person in sign language. Would you like to show me how? That's right, friends. Let's do that together one more time. Person. Are you ready to guess which body system we'll be learning about today? Here's your clue. This system brings oxygen in and out of the body. Hmm, what part of the body does that? Your lungs. So today, we will be learning about the respiratory system. Now, a few weeks ago, we learned that fish use their gills to breathe oxygen from under the water. Well, just like fish, humans need oxygen as well. But we don't have gills. Instead, we use both of our lungs to breathe the air in through our noses and mouths, like this. And when you exhale or breathe out, your body is removing carbon dioxide, like this. Most people have two lungs, which are located on either side of our heart. But lungs can't work without the help of a diaphragm, which is a big muscle. When we inhale, the diaphragm pushes our lungs out as they fill up with air. And when we exhale, the diaphragm brings our lungs back in and the carbon dioxide leaves our bodies. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you will need a plastic water bottle that is filled about halfway with colored water, a small piece of clay or Play-Doh, and you will also need a straw. And today I will be working on my splat mat, which is perfect because today's work may get a little bit messy. So the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the top from my water bottle. And I'm going to take my piece of clay or Play-Doh and just make a little hole in it with my finger like this, almost like a little donut. And then I'm going to put it on top of my water bottle and I'm going to take my straw and push it through the hole like this. Now I wanna make sure that the Play-Doh completely surrounds the straw. I don't want there to be any holes in it. I don't want any of the liquid to escape. So I'm just using my fingers and I'm just making sure that the Play-Doh is completely surrounding the straw as well as the opening of the water bottle right here. So the water bottle is going to represent our chest. The straw is going to represent our windpipe or trachea, which is inside of our throat and attached to our lungs. Today, we are going to see what happens when our chest gets bigger and smaller and what happens to the air inside of our lungs. So. The red water that's inside is going to represent the air. Right now, this is what it looks like when your chest is big. It's letting all of the air into your windpipe. So you can see right now at the bottom of the straw, it's full of air. Now, in order to push the air out of the windpipe, our chest contracts like this. I'm going to squeeze the water bottle and make it smaller. And watch what happens to the water. The air, which is represented by the red water, is moving up through our trachea and out our windpipe. There it goes. The air is coming out. So we breathe in and we breathe out. We breathe in we breathe out. In, our chest gets larger, and out, and out to contract and push the air out. 
in, bigger, out, smaller. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Will you take a few deep breaths with me to fill up our lungs with some fresh air? Let's breathe the air in through our noses and out from our mouths, like this. Let's take one more deep breath together. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please give my videos a thumbs up and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.